since this is in power, the Egypt military has been uh, backing the government, despite the fact that there has been again uh, growing unrest among the population, and Sisi has been using tight fists to suppress this uh, unrest. However, now COVID-19 uh, has provided an unprecedented opportunity to uh, Sisi. Um, officials have authorized punishments and uh, including prison terms even for anyone contradicting the official accounts for the pandemic. Uh, this has given Sisi administration to uh, isolate the political prisoners even more than ever. Uh, the history of this goes to uh, 8th of March. Presidents did sign amendments to nation's uh, emergency law. However, some of these laws opened door to uh, wider abuses of rights and freedoms. Uh, out of 18 which have been signed by uh, President Sisi, uh, only uh, five of them are really concerning with the population health. Uh, like uh, closing the school or the university, delaying the tax collections, postponing the utility payments, and so on and so forth. And others are most likely, uh, I will say, to tighten his administration. It is without any doubt that it opened an unreformed emergency law, which gives Sisi the opportunity to tighten his grip in Egypt. Resorting to national security and public order, as a justification reflects the security mentality that governs Sisi's uh, Egypt. Uh, shortly, it means a window into how authoritarian power um, that has uh, been consolidated for years can play out and be a leverage amid a moment of a global emergency. Of course, this is not the first time we have been seeing this in Egypt. Um, there have been also a state of emergency uh, in April uh, 2017 applied and the underlying reasons were introduced as the drug trafficking and also the combat uh, terrorism but all of them are only pretext to uh, strengthen uh, the Sisi's power on the country. Today the Sisi is uh, using the pandemic to justify some of these measures. Now during March 2020 the government forces uh, Western journalists uh, to leave Egypt after she published some figures from the experts suggesting that the infected people with uh, COVID-19 could be at least 10 times than the uh, declared numbers by government. Uh, as of today, there are a little bit more than 11,000 infected people in uh, Egypt with 580 uh, people dead. Now. Uh, the attempts to link the pandemic to the Muslim Brotherhood could lead even to more arrests and abuses against the suspected uh, opposing regime. Uh, the pandemic is also being used to silence the political prisoners. Now, most of them are cut to see their families and their lawyers due to the uh, reason to protect them from uh, distributing any coronaviruses, potentially. But of course, these are the pretexts used against to justify their reasons. Now, uh, it's great concern to international, I will say, community that the government might use this opportunity to crack down on few remaining to civil society groups or online media even. And as geopolitic compass, we projects that this is likely that we are going to see in the uh, near future. Um, however, all these statements and things that uh, President Sisi or Pre Egypt's President Sisi, let's say, is doing, that, that we have foreseen that before. Um, it, this proves that uh, uh, geopolitical compass protection uh, is accurate. Uh, Egypt will meet with unrest before the decade ends, which is 2030s. This is top we see. Uh, this is because the public has not uh, surrendered to the government pressure yet. There is always um, a pressure applied by the government to crack down all this resistance to their uh, administration. And uh, we are seeing that even Pre President Sisi has not missed the opportunity to crack down these uh, groups only tells us that um, these groups are uh, not giving it up. And uh, also there is another thing that it tells that still that Egypt, there is uh, a proportional of public thinks that uh, presence is far away from being a present to Egypt. 
but to a group of elites, uh, elites in Egypt. Um, so what we are seeing uh, or what we are uh, projecting to see um, before the decade ends is there will be an harsh unrest in Egypt, which is going to again between the public and uh, the administration due to the poor economy and the poor administration and the lack of democracy or respected by the government authorities. We are considering that there will be even more pressures uh, in coming uh, periods. And this is going to give uh, causes and reasons and excuses for those groups to uh, come together and uh, show demonstrations, protests, and even these protests will then lead to administration change in uh, Egypt. Uh, for Turkey, it's very important to keep an eye on Egypt and the democracy in Egypt. Unless the democracy really um, rectifies and becomes for the people's uh, benefits, uh, these projections that we have is not going to be changed at all. Uh, because this is inevitable, uh, uh, because the, the Egyptian culture, I mean, in Egypt I know that there are a lot of sophisticated people. Uh, they like reading, they like university, uh, there are good historians, there are good politicians even there and they have a history so that's why the administration that they have has not been really representing all the egyptian values that's why our projections really relies on these facts uh, let's see what will happen before the decade but uh, what we are now seeing that the president cc uh, uh, is trying to really put pressure on egypt and this is not going to work at all good for in the future especially the economy will go down and that will even give uh, more, uh, I would say, protests and demonstrations against the government administration. If you like this video, there is a like button underneath, please press on it and also there is a bell uh, icon, uh, if you just click on it also you are going to receive the notifications when we publish a video. Thank you for watching uh, the video, keep safe at home and see you next time, have a great day, bye.